Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back. Welcome back to Star Sector and the story of Kyle Gilmore. Last episode, we smacked some uh, nasties around and now they're on the run or, you know, they're just gone. I didn't realize they actually came in on this jump point and then they destroyed the orbital station around uh, World's End, which was slightly unfortunate, but hey, you know, just disrupted for a bit. Nothing too much, but they're on the run. Look at that. All they have <laughs> is that thing. Wow, that's that's fun. We're going away from here, though. As I said, we're going to go to Kadur because I want to buy one of their ships. And I'm bringing with me three Synchrotron cores to sell because that's going to make us a lot of money and it's going to jumpstart a lot of our stuff. Now, you'd say, why would you be selling Synchrotron cores? Well, we're already using one on one planet and we had four extra. So I'm still saving one, but I'm selling three because, like, I'm most certainly, well, probably not going to be... I'm probably not gonna go with uh, more than two planets that we have right now, unless we find some really close over here, then maybe I will. But even then, it's not necessary that I'm gonna be... Where are you? Lodic Path? Oh, nice. You go find. Uh, that it's not necessary that I'm actually gonna be building any more fuel production. More than one more fuel production planet, right? So, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna sell these and make some money. I don't mind if Kadur get it. I really don't mind that, because, you know, they're at war with hegemony all the time. They, they, they're they gonna be busy. They're gonna be busy with that. So, I'm, I'm happily selling their stuff. And that's gonna make us plenty of money. And we can, uh, we can jumpstart our colony even more. And, uh, potentially I can make that Paragon, you know. Uh, we could we could potentially get that Paragon as well. Uh, it costs us quite a lot. I wonder who was fighting over here. It must be Hegemony and uh, the Kadur. It's what usually happens when these guys fight. Oh, we got hit there. Yeah, look at how many of these are. Oh, okay. Stormhawk is going to Colonial Expansion and Hegemony is coming on Expedition. So, they have a fairly strong fleet, and we are evenly matched. That's not that bad. That is not that bad. There's an Astral. We could not get an Astral, but look, there's there's fights happening all around here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some salvaging over here. Not that I need to, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure these guys are fighting Kadoo or something like that. Ooh, that was no D-mods, and I just clicked it. Well, well... <laughs> I saw it was Dominator, I was like, yeah, I don't want a Dominator, and I just clicked through it. Uh, even though, yeah, that doesn't have any demods in the way, but I don't really want you. It's not a Dominator. This one has faulty power grid. Look at all the stuff floating in the space over here. Holy balls on the chopstick. Oppressor. Okay. Oh, it's Stormhawk is also fighting over here. Yeah, Hegemony is fighting the Stormhawk, I think. I'm just gonna look at the big ones. Like these Astrals. Yeah, Stormhawk boys have Astrals. Interesting. Astrals and Conquests. None of these Astrals are recoverable, which makes me slightly mad, though. Even if it was a demodded one, I wouldn't mind it. Hmm. Like, getting a free Astro would be sweet. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for these guys to kill each other, which they did, but nothing too amazing seems to be popping out of that. Alright, there's there's something bigger floating over here. It's a Heron. Meh. We just said we're gonna be replacing Herons, so... Nothing too terrible over there. What do you have over here? It's another Astro. <laughs> Uh, are we taking an Astro with us? Yeah, I think we are. I think we are. Astro is a capital class carrier. Damn. It's got Glitch Sensor, which is not that good. But I can recover it. I'm gonna take it. We're gonna mothball it. I don't really wanna uh, keep it with us right now. But this thing has six base, by the way. It's got claws. It's kind of cool. Some Mervs, which is also very solid. All right. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be mothballing this guy. I'm just going to be tugging it along. 
It's just a mod bullet for now. Because we don't have the crew for it anyway. So we did get an Astro. <laughs> oh, it was definitely worth it. That was very much worth it. What's a prosecutor? I fail to remember what that is. So yeah, we're, we're hegemony fight stuff. It's definitely worth checking around. This one has two things. <laughs> so we can get two Astros. Oh my god, no, no, no. I'm gonna take one if there's like no D mods on it and I'm gonna dump the one that I have right now. That's an onslaught as well. No, not taking another onslaught. Yeah, we're over fuel capacity now with how much stuff, how many capitals we just crapped. Oh. It's an eagle right there. We even got some money. We're full on probably metals, would be my guess. Alright, I'm just gonna look if there's more uh, capitals around here. That's a Seraph. Can't really do anything with it. Definitely taking supplies. That's a... What's the Sphinx again? Need to check. Oh, this one. Yeah, not now. Actually, I don't even need to salvage this thing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a beautiful battlefield, you know? That is indeed a beautiful battlefield. And I love it. Keep bringing more of those. It's another Seraph. Uh, yeah, give me all the supplies and machinery. I guess. There's more bigger pinks. There's an Onslaught. <laughs> uh, not recovering you now. Uh, definitely taking the weapons as well. Yo, this is uh, this is interesting. That's a targe. I like targes. Targes are actually a good ship from Kadur. Yeah, look at that. Kadur has retribution going on on Samara. Uh, when is hegemony coming? I need to, you know, keep an eye on that. Yeah, I still have plenty of time. Okay, uh, there's a bigger ping over here as well. It's another onslaught. You know, especially if you get weapons from it, I'm fine. Let's, let's keep on our way, okay? Keep on our way, that seems smaller. Is this the place we wanted to go to? I think so, let's just quickly check what is out here. Nothing that amazing. Okay, uh... Let's pop in over here, I guess. That's gonna be fine. Oh, it's nice seeing these guys fight. Oh, look how bad that hegemony thing is. Oh, I wonder if Kadua raided one of their places and, I don't know, stole something. Because these guys have quite the fleets. You see how many capitals there are? That's five capitals right there. And they are just continuously fighting. Oh my god, it's, it's a lot of Kadur uh, fleets out here. Yeah, popping a legion right there. We could grab a legion, but this one is a low-tech legion, so... Not right now, boys. Not right now. Stop interdicting me, though. There's an eagle over here. Not gonna get an eagle. But we're gonna certainly strip it for parts. Now, before I sell the synchrotron uh, cores to these guys, I want to see. Uh, don't really need to explore these, do I? I need to see if. Oh, there's a rook. Well, I did say I wanted a rook, so. Oh, well, we can't grab it. Yeah, I wanted to see if these guys actually have fuel production. They have heavy industry, light industry, way station, patrol HQ. So they don't have fuel production, so doesn't really matter. That means we're not going to be boosting them. And I'm selling them some black market. Actually, they needed it. Oh, nice. Getting plenty of money for that. Not selling these on black market, though. I'm selling you these. That's a lot of money. They're going to be mad that I sold it on the black market, by the way. Uh, not selling you that because you have extra stockpiles. Not selling you fuel, even though we could. Oh, I mean, I could sell this, but do you know what? I'm fine. I'm just getting a million out of this on the black market. Confirm. Thank you. Uh, the Kadur are going to be mad because I did this. Just the way it is. Uh, and I'm going to sell all of uh, these blueprints. Actually, I don't need... Uh, the pirates already have missiles in the pirate blueprint. Yeah? So I'm going to sell these on the open market. And I'm going to sell these two on the black market. Yeah, they're not learning these, you see? Good. Okay, we have a lot of money now. Now, do you have a fleet, uh, a fleet, a ship I could buy? There's no rooks over here. I potentially maybe won't be able to because uh, 
I can't uh, access their military. They might not have it on the open market. If that's the case, I'm just gonna keep on trying to scavenge. Yeah, yeah, you come and pursue me. Nothing major, but they're still gonna, almost certainly gonna drop uh, down on the, on the whole thing. Wait, we have metals in here, right? We could bring metals to, to the guys because they, they want them. I mean, they're still paying for a bunch of metals. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Interesting. I traded with your enemies and you guys are all mad. Well, stop that. Stop that. I'm going to continue trading with your enemies. Okay. Um, let's see if there's anything interesting around here. Subjugator. If there was a rook of some kind anywhere around here, I would appreciate that. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, I should stop scavenging. There's no need. There's no need. We just made a bunch of money. Let's actually put that money to good use. So, we have 1700. Uh, we can't really do anything over here, but we can uh, pop more into growth incentives. Keep that bad boy growing. 3% growth? That's pretty not good. That's pretty not good. And you... Let's see. There you go. That's that. This one is growing more because of the... Uh, the civilized population, you know, extra population growth there. So these guys are going to grow very soon to level five, which is going to allow us a new uh, thing over there. While this one still needs to grow to level seven to actually allow us to build something else. It has just grown. Ah, you just grown, huh? Level six. That's kind of cute. Mm, so what we could do over here is upgrade this. So we do have more protection. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. You're still uh, lacking that, huh? Yeah, I'm going to upgrade. Let's get uh, a level 2 station over here. This one I'm not going to do that quite yet. This one is also going to make start making some more money when this spaceport is up and running. Yeah, you know, maybe if we assigned an AI core over here, this would produce us more recreational drugs. And it could be enough for all the people in the system that could be uh, useful fine let's, let's grab the stuff from here as well i would like to sell you my metals because you still need them there you go that's another 50k for metals i thought that metals would be worth so much huh okay now we can't transfer jump due to the fact that we have uh due to the fact that we have who are you mercenary scout that we have that mothball ship so we're not gonna do that i am still looking though if there's gonna be any rooks around because there could be it could be it's a bigger chance that we find a derelict rook around than to be able to buy it i know that they're going for samara as well wreck vengeance upon oasis you know what i'm gonna follow them a bit they're gonna go for Samara, and uh, when they go for Samara, these are gonna be just Germany ships, aren't they? When they go for Samara, they might lose some ships, so it would be worth checking it out. There's a Rook! Ah, no luck. Buffalo and a Rook, good, good, okay. One of these is gonna work, I believe. So we got too much fuel. I should have, uh, I should have sold that extra money okay uh, we got 120k uh, income very nice very nice it's a hound nebula camel persecutor what you got fashion okay how are you guys doing these guys are oh, the, yeah the the oasis station is racked for sure have here Cerberus there's so many things and just floating in the system that's crazy okay we gotta leave these things it's enough let's see if uh, hegemony's got anything interesting to sell over here just before we go 
I mean, we could sell these over there, but hey. I'm gonna get some extra money for all of these, because I don't really need that many. You know, money is always good. And Hegemony likes us. We could uh, potentially buy something then from their military if we were uh, under commission, but I don't necessarily need stuff from them. You know? I think we're, we're quite fine. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's go towards uh, that other uh, system these guys have. And let's see if they're selling a rook over there. Let's see what these guys got over here. Start Fortress Requiem. Uh, oh, why did I click on that? I don't know. They have access of pretty much... Well, access of all of this, but deficit on everything else. What do you sell? No rooks, huh? There's a targe for sale over here, but... That's about it. There's probably They probably have it on military, but we don't have access to that because they don't necessarily like us. Ooh, look at this thing. Gene Alert Launcher. An extreme range armored cruise missile massing more than any commonly used strike craft in the sector, and even some light frigates and corvettes. The plated chases of the Gen class long range torpedo houses enough solid state antimatter fuel to chase targets indefinitely, as well as rudimentary lock on system. Very slow and terrible uh, tracking. Hmm, yeah. 10,000 range, huh? 6,000 damage, though. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. I don't know. Uh, like, let's buy one. Just so maybe I can play with it and try it out. They have some hills. I think we have extra hills at home. But, uh, I mean, since they're here. Did I sell you a pristine nano forge at some point? And then the Cicatro core? Did I? Well then, I potentially did. They they have a pristine nano forge over here. They do. All right, so no rooks around here. Yeah, yeah, you go and check me out if you want to. Oh, not fast enough. Oh snap. Oh snap. This jump point over here is a bit obnoxious because it's kind of close. Who are you? You're wrecking vengeance on Tortuga Station, huh? Okay, this this is kind of close to the whole event horizon over there. It could be dangerous. Perdition outpost, huh? Let's actually check what are... So these guys are coming in 30 days. I should potentially go towards home. Uh, where are they preparing? Samara. Well, that's actually good because Samara right now is being... Uh, let's see. Samara was under attack by these guys. Now, where do I check this? Yes, there you go. They are raiding Samara. Samara is right there. We're gonna go there. Maybe we can actually just fight these guys while they're preparing over there. It could be a thing. I'm still looking for a rook. So there's going to be Kadur over there. At some point, they might have a rook boy somewhere. That might get dropped if somebody kills them. Oh, there's definitely these guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Look at... <coughs> Look at all that. Holy balls on the chopstick. Now, one of these guys might be hostile to me, so I gotta be careful, you know? One of these Gemini boys might be hostile. I'm just looking for pieces. I'm just, you know, just a scavenger doing my job over here. Gemini raid failed. Nice. And now they hate me more because they failed. Really? Is that how it is? But they failed because they got ragged by Kadur. I mean, sure. Why not? Why not? Huh. Alright, well, I'm just gonna stick around. See if we can find the ship we're looking for. So guys, I did not find that rook, unfortunately. But, uh, I did manage to outfit our new Astro. Didn't really have the stuff to properly out outfit it, so, you know, it's not the best outfit ever. Uh, but I'm gonna go try down here. There's a bounty for a pirate station. I'm gonna see if I can smack it around. You know, maybe if I didn't get hit by every storm, this should be the one, right? Yeah. There's a, there's a pirate station over here. 
Let's jump in here. And uh, let's see what awaits us. There's some pirates. Oh, it's gonna be right there. It's gonna be right there. There's some fleets around. Are you gonna run away from us? I guess not. Do you have anything to sell? Not really. We do have... Look at how many supplies. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I wanted to use it. And that's why I refitted that thing. So, let us engage the orbital station and its allies. Continue in there. So, we have this Astro. I'm going to use it. Uh, now, unfortunately, they didn't really have uh, laser stuff over there. And this is all about lasers. Or beams, I should say. So, I couldn't uh, fit it in. Uh, so, it has kind of crappy... Kind of crappy loadout right now. Not the best, is what I'm going to say. Uh, let's get you guys all in. Probably don't need to, but let's get you guys all in. It's going to get some of these people killed, probably. Um, lightning strike, you're going to just protect. The rest of us are going in there. Probably don't need to have lightning strike on escort, but hey. Also, we're attacking destroyer. Uh, we're attacking a space station with a bunch of destroyers over here. But I wanted to see this one in action. It's a midline, and it's actually injured. Is that? Oh, it's CR is down. It's not injured. <coughs> oh boy, Raleen, that's a lot of harpoons in your face, right there. Mm. I'm gonna be the one uh, being. Uh... Wow. Well, yeah, fine. I'm gonna put my shields up, okay? Somebody go tank this for me. Oh, all of these are going for that little thing, huh? You exploded as well. Let's see if I can get some sables in there. And then some of that, and then I'm gonna focus on you. Missed. Well, that's stupid. But now you're dead. Goodbye. Goodbye. You missed. Totally. Totally missed. Okay, so you're gonna be hanging out here, of course. Just send some strike, uh, strike missions over here. Hello, you. How do you do? Uh, I don't really want to fight you because you're less about shields than anybody else. I wanted to go in here and actually just save with that thing. Oh, the MERS are definitely going to be doing some job. Some uh, good jobs right there. Come on. Okay, let's get some of that in there. There you go. There you freaking go. Okay, I'm going to have to pull back a bit. Oh, right, the AI is just trying to kill the the spurs over there on the sides yeah of course they're gonna do that it's uh it's what the AI does come on you guys face me face me before i ran out of cr why does nobody wants to face me you know what i'm just gonna hammer in those general direction <laughs> see what happens okay let's uh, uh get some of that let's get some of that go into your face. Fine, I'm gonna shoot to you as well, okay? There we go. Wait, what? Sunder got disabled. Yo, what are you doing? <sighs> Did you go extra crazy as well? That's Raleen's job. <laughs> Look at where she is. God damn it, Raleen. Come on. Stop that. Stop that. I think I'm gonna have to go help her. Hey, hey, you. Stop this. No. You guys, please engage. Uh, Raleen is dead. Shit! Raleen! What are you doing out there? Sorry, guys. Just, just, wait. God save us, is what she's saying. Raleen, I'm coming! Raleen, I'm coming! You're gonna have to face me as well. I'm coming to save you. Getting shot badly in the face and such. But I'm here to save you, Raleen. She escaped. Because of my brave, sac brave sacrifice over here. 
The Commander Relin. Now I am in some slight problems over here. I really want to deal with all of you. Oh, I missed, I missed, and I should not be facing you guys. Oh, fucking salamanders. Did you? Okay. Get those hammers in there. There you go. Nope. Oh, that was a bad time. <laughs> See that Reaper coming in, though? That was a bad time, bad time, bad time, bad time. Get out of my face, flyers. Hey, Verlene retreated. Can you guys please kill this thing? Or is it too much to ask of you? Do I really need to get Gungnir in here to just go ham? God damn it. Oh, I am... Like a very broken ship over here, and oh, see, falling apart. Totally falling apart. Where's where am I? I'm over here. Mm -hmm. We're not even fighting the station right now. No, we're not. We're not even fighting the station. Let me go fight you. Nothing else, this is gonna be good XP for all of my boys that have issues with skills and levels and such. Hi, I'm just here killing all of these small things. Hey, would you stop that, you? I'm almost dead. I don't need you amplifying uh, your damage in my face, okay? Really don't. Mm, I hate you, Afflictor. I hate you. Yeah, face me, you bastard. Okay, you know what? I don't want to play with you. Be gone, fiend. Okay, where am I? I'm here. Gungnir is in this thing's face now. Can we... There you go, you guys did it. Finally, there you go. Just needed Gungnir in there. And I'm just standing here playing with these bastards. Still have some sabers. There you go. Orbital station has been disabled. These guys are probably gonna run now. So let's chase them. Oh, that guy's dead. Ooh, that guy's dead. Ooh, that guy's dead. Okay, that was not the cleanest thing ever. Consider ship recovery. Okay, no demons. Let's recover you. Perfect, perfect. Through the wreckage, we got a lot of metal that we don't really need. Let's leave. Oh my god, that was that was slightly stupid. <laughs> More metals that we don't need. Okay, we got some skills on people. Okay, let's level you up. We got gunnery implants. <coughs> You go on target analysis, and now you're max level. Good stuff. Boris, I need to put you back into your ship. And Tony Dog, I got uh, 246. I mean, Hornet's expertise is nothing to sneeze at. Where's my cinder? It's right there. Slightly wrecked. Nothing wrong with that. Let's get you in on it. Okay. My ship is not in the best condition either, but hey. All right, we've done it. Whew. That's uh, more money in our pockets. And we are leaving this place. Never to return or something like that. I mean, we're probably going to return, but... You know. Uh, let's go... I'm going to go this way again, because, you know, it's an option. Hegemony likes us a lot more. There's this pirate thing. We can easily kill these pirates. And we do have time to get there, don't we? So this one is... Where are you? Baron World, the Dwarf Primary. Dwarf, Dwarf, fuck. Well, there's like three dwarves out here. So that's fun. We're still gonna stop over here. Because I just want to see if they have a route for us. Let's see what they've got. 
Do you have a what I need, my friends? Yeah, they don't need that. Well, it's unfortunate. Let's see. No. Looks like it's kind of hard to buy uh, anything uh, above a destroyer on their uh, open markets or anything. They just have these supply ships over here. So I'm going to have to either fight them or I don't know. Yeah, you can scan me. I never have anything over here. What are you talking about? Uh, also, since uh, we did make some money and our world's end has grown, actually. Uh, I went and started a new thing over there. So we're building a, p a military base over here, actually upgrading the patrol HQ. Now, the reason why I went for this and not some kind of industry is due to the fact that uh, over here, if you check, this place got shipping disruption. You know, the the stuff got... The stuff that was shipping stuff over here, the stuff, yeah. <laughs> the fleet that was shipping stuff over here got murderized and there's pirate activity in there. So I want some bigger fleets in the system so they can actually deal with the problems when they arise. Now, we need to go find a barren world in a dwarf primary. Um, bounties. Adrana, Zimbabwe. 19 days. You can't even make it there. I mean, we could. So, dwarf, dwarf. It's like three dwarfs, god damn it. Uh, show me the system map, please. There's nothing in that one. Good. So it's not that one. Actually, it's unexplored, so it could be that one. Smart. Smart me. Uh, Rocky Metallic. Okay, this one does have a Baron. Great. And please don't tell me you have a Baron world. Rocky Unstable, Baron... Baron. You know what? Fuck these pirates. We're not gonna go there. We're never gonna make it. Okay. There's pirates coming. So I guess, yeah. Fuck these pirates, really. Where are you? You're gonna have to go there and find their station again and just fight them. They're gonna be there in three days. Uh, is this the place? Yeah. This is the place. They are not gonna sell me a rook. I should really not even think about it. But they might sell... Oh, they might have a corpse of a rook somewhere around here. So I'm gonna just quickly check up. And I'm gonna go back to the those pirate places. And I'm gonna go fight more pirates. Because... Reason, that's a rook, please. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh, let's go! No long-term damage, Rook, exactly the one we wanted. Oh, okay, well, this trip was exactly what we needed. Good. Okay. Uh, so, let me go... I guess we're just gonna mothball you, because we don't have the fleet for it. But otherwise, let's go back towards home now, properly outfit you, and then find some stupid pirates. So I've been uh, outfitting uh, this thing and it, right now it has a lot of uh, Kadur stuff on it and there's this point defense that seems pretty good uh, but it's like 7 points, 7 OP over here for just, just point defense on these things so I don't know, like it's got a lot of uh, these bad boys, these are just small anti-shield, lots of small uh, small weapons on here. And I'm just, I'm just not feeling that this, you know, spending seven points on this. Like, I'd rather go if I have to. Maybe I'm gonna put a couple of rail guns on it, just up front. You know, I just wanted to tell you what my thinking about this. Or maybe I should put rail guns like on these two. Let's actually put rail, rail guns on these two. Oh wait, these ones are cheap. And this point defense isn't interesting. Let's put rail guns over here. I'm gonna put um, where is it? Just some Vulcans over here, like Vulcans over here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep this one over here because you know it's apparently it's, it's more, more, more. So let's yeah, let's keep this one over here. That's gonna give us more point, maybe less flux. And uh, how are those ones? Giselle, Flechette Driver. So I'm not quite sold on these things. 
Maybe I'll have, you know, you have some frontal and sideways shooting potential over here. But otherwise, you could just have some more Vulcans on this. Here you go, it doesn't, uh, the flux isn't that bad. We can actually put some more points into this. And we also, I just I just put Kadur stuff in here because, you know, it's it kind of fit, fits the theme. So lots of Falcons and... Falcons, lots of Vulcans and uh, two railguns. I don't know how it's gonna go. And we have Lieutenant William Bloodstone in, in this one. It's gonna run a sim just to see how it, I don't know, plays against a, a Falcon. How are you gonna how are you gonna do this, buddy? Let me see. Now, the only unfortunate thing about this thing is it doesn't have any missile slots. That kind of makes me sad. You know, missiles is definitely something I'd like. Now, these guys are bombers. And they're yeah, that's that's some nice flux over there. Some really nice flux over there. Now basically the good part about this uh, the ship is is that that martyr channel. I'm gonna actually show you. You're probably never gonna even use your railguns much. Uh, the martyr channel over here increases speed, maneuverability, and anti-fighter damage of launch fighters in direct proportion to the amount of which they are outnumbered by enemy fighters, which also protects them from allied mass displacement anomaly fields. So that's kind of interesting, you know? If we are outnumbered, this is gonna do better. So, well, we now have this rook over here. I, I just wanted to try it out, you know, see how... Uh, See how it plays in the long run. I think that's fine. And the rest I just can't for now. We do have uh, quite a lot of nice stuff over here. If we ever need to come back for it. Or need to defend uh, this place. So. Now. Um, actually I need to talk to people at the bar. Pather. Tell me which one is it. So we have a path. A path base and pirate base right there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see where those are. So, it's a pather base. It's way out there. You're attacking me from way out there? No, it's not. <coughs> but this one is. These are the pirates we need to take care of. These are the pirates we need to take care of. I did want to take care of these guys. Because this is 300,000 for not that bad of a deal. I guess we're going to go for this one before it uh, collapses. Sure, why not? I mean, yeah. Let's go, 300,000, that, that allows us to keep on improving our two colonies. We're gonna start making us more money. That was a scavenger, it should be fine. We already explored this place, so... They're hiding around a rocky metallic, and that's the one. Yeah, I thought so. Thought that's gonna be the one, so let's pop in uh, here. And just transverse jump right in there. I should have taken some fuel, there you go. They also pursue us. Lots of uh, face stuff, otherwise, yeah, you guys are gonna die real quickly. Um, don't transfer command. Okay, let's get these two together. I want to see them. Of course, I'm going in as well. Uh, let's get some people that are not level 20 yet. So you two, you, you guys are level 20. You, I guess, I guess you, I guess we have a full deploy over here. Let's go for that one. And let's see how well our fighters do. Now, to be honest, I would prefer like having three carriers. Two rooks and, you know, something like that. So maybe at some point we're gonna have to have to tell one of my one of my officers to retire and we would uh, recruit another officer, potentially. A one that would be a man, a myth, a legend. And also know how to fly some of those uh, pilot pilot ships. Can you kill it? There you go. You can. There you go. You can. Maybe you can't. That's okay. You play with it. I'm just gonna uh, capture this. There's their apogee. Uh, let's get a fight to strike on this from both of you, if you could. I wanna I wanna see how well you do. Now, Apogee, once you got through its f uh, shields, it's not going to be that strong. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You got plenty of missiles. Whatever. And the Salamanders to boot. Bastards. Stop going for me. No. Boris, is this really necessary? Is this really necessary? 
Get back down here and support. Jesus. Get get out. You're gonna you're gonna get yourself smacked. Ooh, sweet. It was a good overload, but I couldn't follow it up, fortunately. Because I am slightly alone over here. There you go. Let's get those uh, those things going over there. That apogee is it's not going to retreat. It's not that injured. It's just going to stay back there. Hello, friend. Oh, very nice. Let's see if I can uh, smack you up a bit. There's some harpoons coming in. Oh, great. My stuff is disabled but oh you didn't do it that should do it hey 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 stop that stop that you oh now you're ready to go now you're ready to go goodbye apogee oh what a beautiful explosion okay uh guys don't need to defend over here anymore let's just go full assault I just go. My dual machine gun online. Well, thank you. That's exactly what we needed. You should be dead. Why are you not dead yet? There you go. Hey. Whoa! That was the brief. That was a flame out. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? I'm just spinning around over here in uh, in outer space. That was that was my goal all along. To teleport myself in here. Oh, there you go. Engine drive back online. Well, I guess, you know, I just wanted to teleport myself over here where I could deal with all of these nasties on my own. Mm -hmm. Stop using sabos on me, though. I would like to go for you. Stop that. No, what, what are you... Why did Sabos go for... Oh, because it... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My, uh... When I selected somebody, it selected one of these fuckers. Not that thing. Oh, so annoying. So bloody annoying. You're not... Look at that. It selects those small bastards. Get out of my fucking way, you. I'm going for this bastard over here. And you're not stopping me. No, you're not. There you go. This is a beautiful ship that I'm flying right now. It just, you know, it has its issues. It has its issues. But it's a beautiful ship nonetheless. Are you all dead? Yeah, those guys are gonna escape, right? Potentially. Alright, good job. Pirates dead. Pursue them. Um, Rulin. Go get them. No need to recover ships. No. And that's fine. Thank you. That's 300,000. Good. What can we build with that? Now, over here, we're building patrol HQ, so that's gonna go up. Uh, is there anything we can build over here? No, everything else is industry. Uh, we could start upgrading these. Now, I believe I am upgrading that one. Yeah, I am upgrading you. I can upgrade that to heavy batteries as well. Sure. Yeah. Uh, once we get these stations up high, I can just put some AI cores into controlling all of this and it should be just fine. Hegemony isn't gonna really like that much and Pathers are not gonna like that either, but hey. Alright, that, that was well done. Uh, right. Let me see what you got for me. Let me see what you got for me. Good. All right. Let's uh, let's pop out here. And we have one more pirate station to kill. Oh, we just found a Hermes floating around over here, and it had a research station thing. It's actually in here. Wow. Uh, make that important. We're definitely gonna go check that out. There's a research station just floating out there. Oh boy. Yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna jump in here because we kind of do need uh, some fuel. There's also... Oh yeah, uh, we can grab you on our way back from... We're going from... We're going here, I think. Yep, we 
can easily grab you. Let's go to Bro Big quickly and refuel. Hello, friends. Yeah, you guys keep on flying around. That's that's fine. Uh, storage. Let's just uh, pop all of that in. There you go. Why do I have all of these things in here? I think I found them. Found them at some point. Did I do that in the previous episode? I think I've done that in the previous episode, didn't I? And I already forgot. Uh, how much to refuel? 74,000. Amazing. <laughs> Should just do more scavenging. That's, uh, that ends up working better usually. Um, since we do have, what, a million? Not quite, but out, somewhere out there. We could upgrade you as well, or we could upgrade you as well. Hmm... Sure? I mean, this thing has path or base as well. But mostly people will come for the, the main thing. Let's just give you more growth. For now. Grow. Grow, my friend, grow! Alright, let's go smack some pirate ass. They are supposed to be in here somewhere. Yeah. I'm guessing it's gonna be around somewhere around these planets. Don't know where else they would be. High tech at Broke Beak has been completed. New battle station. Very good. Hello. Hello, mining station. Yeah. Uh, who is. Brittany? You gonna be obnoxious right now? Brittany? You're pursuing me? Dude, get out of here, okay? This is gonna explore us. What do we got? Pirates and hegemony and some corrupt nanoforges and stuff like that. All right. Not the worst. Can't really sell it to the pirates though. At least not the hegemony package. Hi. I would like to consider my uh, option. Oh, you're just like level one. Cool. Continue in there. Me. Arnie Rook. Uh, because yeah. Let's see, you are not level 20 yet. You're not level 20 yet. You're not level 20 yet. You actually have a level up. Don't really... Let's go. Yeah. Let's go with all of you. Boaty, just... Chill, buddy, okay? Don't be too aggressive. Just, just play with him. Okay? Let me be the one that's aggressive and get himself killed, okay? <coughs> I know, I know, Boris, that this is this is how you want to roll, but how about you chill? You know, we're fighting a pirate station over here. I know it's just, it just has one module, but still. Really, really not needed. Ooh, that, that wolf just jumped into that. Oh, come on. Sell up, brothers. Get out of here. Oh, I hate them. I hate salamanders. Why? Ugh. Stupid things. Stupid things. Hey, get, get back here. You guys certainly have some salamanders on you, huh? But the station is the one before. Ugh. All my engines. I hate you. Please kill that thing that spams salamanders. Kill you as well. Hey, stop shooting him in the in the side. I'm trying to kill one of your friends. This is really obnoxious, by the way. There's a Reaper coming from my side. Would you please not do that? There you go. That's how you do it, boys. You see? Learn from the best. Learn from the best. That's not a Reaper. Oh, I got wrecked. That one isn't gonna be wrecked, though. You are gonna be wrecked. And you are not gonna go away. Ooh, boom, diada. Boom, diada. Oh, my thing is just flamed out fully, huh? Great, my, uh, my missiles aren't ready. I do have sabos though. 
I guess I can shoot Sabos. Did? Oh, my uh, my number one thing just got uh, disabled. My hammers just got disabled. Don't even have them anymore. Good stuff. Can't even catch this guy. Here you go. I kind of hurt myself there, but that's okay. Uh, no, I don't want to recover ships. Just, sure, give me all of that stuff. And that should uh, kill the combat uh, activity in there. That was the wrong scavenge place. This is the right scavenge place. No, it's not. Why are you still giving me... There you go, this is the one. It was still giving me the one from uh, the mining station. For some freaking reason. Okay. That's better. Now, uh, the... Pirate activity is over, thank you. There's still Ludic paths. Yeah, they have a lot of interest over here. Of course they do. Of course they do. Alright, I think it's time. I think it's time we called for today. We killed some pirates. We tested our ships. In fact, let's actually check this. So the previous one, I want to see how Rook did. So I did uh, what? 32% of the damage. Seraph did 22, so that's pretty good. Well, yeah, as I said, they're probably not even going to be using their guns, so should just keep it on point defense mostly. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. For now, thank you, everybody, for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Click that notification bell below if you want to see more from me, and I'll see you guys next time. For now, check her out. <laughs>